and she flings some rocks at him. Yeah, she's got a good arm. <laughs> Hi, I'm Delia Owens, author of Where the Crawdads Sing. We have some burning questions from the Reese Book Club community, so let's get started. The romance between the two of you, Daisy and Taylor, kept us emotionally on the edge of our seats. Taylor, we were rooting for you. Why didn't you show up on 4th of July? Because I'm an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> um, I should have, and I think he was just in his own head and scared and uncertain about Kaya being able to live out in Barkley Cove or in the real world, but I think he came to his senses and realized like whatever world Kaya was in was the world he wanted to live in. I think that's a good answer. And, and as I wrote it in the book, one of the reasons I had him do that, behave that way, is because no person is all good or all bad. Chase had some, a lot of bad characters, but there were some good things about Chase too. And I wanted to make sure that uh, Tate wasn't all perfect. Yeah, nobody's cookie cutter. I like that. I like yeah. that you did it. Daisy, what a rebound. What was it like developing a relationship with Tate and then moving on to someone like Chase? Kaya's relationship with Tate at the beginning is is very much a sort of shared curiosity of the world and it's almost like they connect and fall in love on a very sort of cerebral level. By the time she sort of, um, you know, gets to her relationship with Chase, like isolation and loneliness weighs down very heavily on her. So I think, you know, for her, a large amount of why she's um, intrigued by Chase is sort of an escape from that. Also, there's a kind of carnal uh, no. physical attraction to him that she doesn't quite understand um, other than what she watches and observes in nature. And so I think there's also a sort of physical, like as she's growing up, attraction to him that is one that she sort of finds can sort of a bit enticing. I think that's right. She, she, she really fell in love, I think, with Tate. And then that didn't work out. So now she was a little bit more cynical mm -hmm. and she was going for something besides love. She was going for the physical attraction and, and that's very real mm -hmm. in life. Yeah. Definitely. Taylor, what was it like seeing someone you love go for someone who was very wrong for her? I think it was heartbreaking for Tate to see, you know, Kaya go off with Chase because I felt like I pushed her that way. You know, I, I was supposed to be this amazing thing. We're supposed to have this amazing relationship and I selfishly ran off um, when I should have stayed. And then seeing her go out with this guy that I hear around town, like who he actually is as a person. I hear the way he talks about her behind her back. It just drives me crazy and, and, and pisses me off. But there's nothing I can do about it because Kai, rightfully so, is angry at me as well for leaving. So I don't have a place to, to say something until finally I can't take it anymore and I have to have to come back for her. And then she flings some rocks at and him. And then she throws <laughs> <laughs> She's got a good arm. There was a bit of an added scene that that was different than in the, slightly different than the book where you guys have it out on, on Jumpin's Wharf. But yeah, that's who Tate is. He, he, you know, he, he loves ferociously and he mm -hmm. does what, what's necessary mm -hmm. to protect a woman. But sometimes he does screw up and drop the ball. Should have stayed. <sighs> he should have stayed.